All right, so I've got a different spot here to do some video. Um, my other one's being taken over right now. Uh, but um, nevertheless, uh, we're still going to give this thing a review. Uh, basically, this thing is really, really cool. This is the Zero Tolerance uh, Navy Seal inspired design flashlight. Um, basically, it's a super bright LED light. It's got 118 or 1018 lumens. Um, it says waterproof. Uh, ultra bright, brilliant light, aluminum, um, resistant housing, let's see here, oh yeah, aluminum waterproof housing, rechargeable lithium ion battery, multifunction power button, uh, and two-way, um, two-way USB port, uh, so basically what that means is this is going to open up here, okay, and you can see that there's this rubber O-ring here, that's what's kept everything out of here so far, um, as far as water and whatnot, uh, and basically you're going to be able to plug this in to charge it, and you're also going to be able to use this to take this and charge a phone or tablet. So the lithium-ion battery in this is really ultra powerful. And let's see here, Is that working? Maybe the cord's bad. try this cord here. Oh, we got to turn it on. Okay, that was my fault. Um, you got to push the button to turn it on. But yes, it does start charging here. Hold on. It does start charging. You can see that it's charging there and you gotta push the little button right here and then you can not only charge the battery, fla the flashlight battery, but then you, if in an emergency you can charge your phone up too, which is a really, really cool feature uh, that I just haven't seen on, a, on any other flashlight out there. Uh, it says it will charge uh, one phone twice or one tablet one time um, and then you're gonna have about an hour's runtime on, on the high setting on this. So, you, you know, ultra bright light, um, it's got the lower setting right there, uh, which is plenty bright. Uh, we compared this to Maglite. We compared it to <clears throat> the old Maglite and even the newer um, Ultra Bright Maglite, and this thing just blows it away as far as uh, light content and um, you know it, just an overall spread uh, and distance. Uh, it's just massively, massively brighter. Eons and eons, you know, uh, evolved technology. And then the most important part is the lithium-ion battery. Um, there's nothing worse than getting picking up your mag light or, or you know whatever light you have, and the batteries are dead. And now you got to go spend 15 bucks on batteries to fill it up. And then that happens, you know, once or twice a year. Well, you're going to spend you know 30, 40, 50 dollars a year on batteries, depending on how much you use your flashlight. This rechargeable system allows you to recharge it in the car. So let's say you're out at night or you're hunting or something and you pick up your flashlight and it's dead, well you can charge it up for a little bit in your car and at least have some light to be able to do something with. Um, or you can just keep it charged up in your car uh, and you can keep it charged up at home. So I am really, really impressed with this. We put it in hot water, we let it soak in the hot tub overnight, uh, we put it in the freezer. I mean these are the most extreme conditions that we can come up with. Um, just right here, you know, not in some kind of laboratory or something, but um, far beyond what would happen in the real world. You know, you might drop this thing in the snow or something, or drop it in the water. Uh, you're definitely going to be 100% fine with that. Uh, everything is absolutely perfect on this, and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, this is going to be a great gift for the, you know, dads or whatever, brothers that have everything. Um, this is going to be something that they don't have most likely and it's going to be something that they can use uh, so for more information check out the website below and then look for your zero tolerance uh, flashlight and the stores near you and then once again this is also inspired by a navy seal so that's why there's so much thought put into this um, you know it's it's just a complete package and design for more information check out the website below. Hey, what's going on there? This is Wayne, and we're checking out the uh, Zero Tolerance Flashlight. So, this has been in the freezer for 
overnight. And let's just see, check that out. You can see exactly how cold that is. <clears throat> and completely frozen and immersed in this. Uh, let's see here, let's see if we can, but we still have light and it still functions in all the different functions too. <clears throat> so that just goes to show you that this thing's gonna put up with the weather um, and uh, any of the abuse that people are gonna put this thing through. If we could get some heat source and we could pop this out of here. Uh, let's see, hold on. All right, so we can now pull that out of there and you can definitely see that this is 100% encased in ice, uh, but still definitely working. So uh, that's definitely a, a show just of how much um, this can really put up with and withstand. I mean, completely immersed, completely frozen for over 24 hours. Um, <clears throat> and not only that, but it has to be ultra watertight because the ice would actually expand. So any of the lens, uh, or any of the other areas around this um, are going to expand and uh, that's going to go ahead and push and force the water into any of the other little cavities uh, that you might be able to find. So this is really, really a, a true test of how uh, bright and durable this is. It was designed by a Navy SEAL uh, and we can tell that there's you know, some real thought behind this. So let's just go ahead and try and break this ice off. a little more time to heat up and definitely um, pretty impressed with this so far so very very cool product um, extremely extremely durable product here all right so to test the waterproofness of this flashlight we threw it in the hot tub here uh, and it's still going so that's a good thing. Looks like we're at about 105. Turn the temperature up pretty good so we can go ahead and see what this does. Turn that off. So basically we got agitation, heat, steam. Uh, this was left in overnight and then about an, oh, a half hour or so ago I turned the light on uh, to see what it was doing. So um, definitely does pass the waterproof test here still definitely nice and bright and let's see if all the functions work so we have dim mode and then we have SOS mode which it's just gonna flash like that so switch still works on off and uh, definitely still working really good All right, so we'll just kind of go ahead and see how far these things shine. We're just here at a regular park. You can see all the way across the field there, we're probably not gonna get very much on the trees. Uh, you know, if it was pitch black out, you might be able to see your standard mag light, uh, the one with the high um, intensity bulb. We can see much further. We can start to see that on the tree over there, on the goalpost. We can see about how far that is. Um, we can see it on these trees over here, but it does start to dissipate pretty quickly. Uh, and then if we go ahead and turn this one on, you can definitely see that we see all the way over there. Uh, it really lights up the tree, really lights up the color. You can actually start to see that stuff. Uh, and again, it's not 100% pitch black. Uh, it's, it, there is some light coming off the sky and whatnot. Uh, so you're going to get those contrasts. To be able to light it up that much from this far away, uh, is extremely impressive so I highly 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 recommend this this is a very very good light system so we'll uh, go through some more information and uh, check out the website below thanks for watching 
Okay, so we've got our uh, zero tolerance LED light here, and we're going to compare that against two mag lights. Um, we get the mag light with the higher, uh, the higher resolution bulb, and just a regular standard mag light. Um, so you can see what a standard mag light's going to do. You can see the camera there. This is going to be the uh, bright mag light bulb here. And then this is going to be our, you can see the nice dot that it gives, and then also a nice uh, glow all the way around it. So you can see that you can read everything, and it's not 100% pitch black. You can notice that there are some clouds and stuff in the sky. Look at that. Um, but when we put all three of these together, we'll put that up, we'll put that up, and that's these two and then we'll put that up and it just completely drowns everything out. Uh, you wouldn't even know these two were here, to be perfectly honest. So, definitely super ultra bright, uh, 1018 lumens is what this is going to be shining. Um, and we're about, I don't know, 10 yards or so away. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, Right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this um you know that's the best way you can help interact leave a comment i will get back with you if i can and try and help you answer your questions but the more you interact and post this to facebook twitter google plus and spread this through the social media uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.